623 in the East. And new this morning, U.S. government websites now back online after facing a major attack from online activist group Anonymous. Anonymous lashed out after the Department of Justice busted the downloading site Mega Upload. Authorities arrested four people, including the site's founder. Anonymous retaliated by shutting down the DOJ and FBI websites, as well as sites for several major entertainment companies. And here with the latest is Amber Lyon. She spoke exclusively with members of Anonymous. What did they tell you? Well, they said that yesterday the shutdown of MegaUpload.com was really the straw that broke the camel's back. We've seen Anonymous protesting anti-piracy legislation all week, legislation such as SOPA. They say after this website was shut down, almost immediately, Anon started gathering in online chat rooms discussing what they were going to do, and they began what's known as a distributed denial-of-service attack against these U.S. government websites. That's a type of attack where so many computers flood a website with so much traffic that it causes it to shut down. I spoke exclusively with some of these Anons who were watching this operation. They called it, uh, uh, it was called um, Op Mega Upload. They were watching that very closely, and here's what they had to say. So Anonymous sees the shutdown of Mega Upload as a type of internet censorship? Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a violation of freedom of speech, and it's... Uh... Uh, Anonymous and, and a lot of other movements regard the internet as, as sort of independent from any government, and they regard a government interfering in the free flow of the internet as stepping outside of their jurisdiction. How long did it take for the Department of Justice's website to go down? I would give it seven or eight minutes, not even. Seven or eight minutes? I, I say seven minutes. It is, what, what was the thoughts within Anonymous that it was that easy to, to take um, down the Department of Justice's website? With enough power and with enough uh, manpower, you can take down really much anything. It's basically the power of um, an absolutely massive group of people coming together. They're not happy. And uh, this wouldn't be possible with one or two people. You know, it's, it's one of those things which is very genuinely an expression of how many people are angry. And those Anons were covering up their faces uh, because they wanted to conceal their identities, obviously, there. Uh, on the other side of things, the Department of Justice says that this site was allowing the illegal upload of copyrighted material, costing the industry somewhere near half a billion dollars a year. And But you talk to Anons, the other side, they believe that this was some type of Internet censorship, Zoraida. Well, that they could, they have that kind of collective effort that they can do this. Um, a Twitter account that's affiliated with the group said um, that FBI.gov is next to go down. Did they talk about that? What was next? Well, they, they were able to take down FBI.gov for a brief period of time yesterday, and there's still traffic going online saying that Anons are, are targeting more websites today. Uh, we'll, we'll be monitoring that all day on CNN. All right, right. Amber Lyon, thank you so much.